Um, hi guys. Nice video for us the week. Very nice. As a matter of fact, um, right, Adam, you can print your neighbor's printer. That is pretty impressive. Well, for me anyway, because I can do much more than the usual computers. So it was pretty amazing. And just as the last thing um, about the nanny culture thing that you were talking about a few weeks back, I just showed you my shampoo today. It said, um, try not to get any shampoo in your eyes, but if you do, you rinse with clean water. Don't know why anyone would want to get soap or any sort of um, cleaning liquid in their eyes. But yeah, that, that's just a little comment that I thought I'd put in. Um, let's go on with the other side then, shall we? Okay, um, you don't know for certain about religion? I thought you were a pretty settled atheist, Adam. I was quite shocked to hear that. Um, yeah, wow, I don't know if you'd like to explain, because, um, I was quite shocked. <laughs> um, okay, let's clear this. I don't think... No, no, no. I do think that there is a point to life, even if there is no afterlife. I think that was a really big comment for me to make last, um, in my last video. I just I don't know, I kind of wanted to emphasise how much I think there is something else but this world. And I think that's probably why I said that, but I shouldn't have. Because it caused a lot of outrage, which I kind of understand. Um, I think, yeah, I think what I wanted to say um, was that there is something else about this world and that is why I think there is an afterlife. Um, Dan, I never said the religion and the afterlife weren't separate things, I don't know where you got that from. And I am I, I am at peace with the inevitability inevitability of of death. <coughs> I never said I wasn't. Um but I think I am okay with that because I know that there is something after it. Um, I think that there is some sort of bigger power, I'm not going to say God because I don't think it's a religious matter. Um, yeah, but I definitely think that there is something else but this world, just the same as much as I think that there is, there are lives in other planets that we may never get to know about and thus not be able to prove that but I just think that and you make all that a belief and then say that it's a religion or a religious belief or whatever but oh well, I don't think it is but you can say what you like just as much as I can um I mean oh I don't know I'm really confused. I think I said quite a few things in my last video. I don't, I don't fully believe, and I probably shouldn't have said. And like, don't get me wrong. I am happy, like happily enough, living my life, even if it was like it was proven that there was nothing after life. But I kind of want to believe that there is. And at certain moments in my life, I've kind of, it's kind of like made me feel much better to think that there was and to think that we are here for more than a reason that to just live our lives. And I'm not undermining the importance of life, because I think life is sacred and all that, so don't go on about it, please. Uh, um... Yeah, I can't help but wonder, wonder what's outside this physical life. Because I do think there is a more abstract, no, that was that spiritual, but again, not in a religious way. I don't know. I think I might have to leave this soon because I'm getting myself very confused. Reason why you shouldn't take my previous video too seriously. Finally grew out grew out of those views that um depending on how well you are in your life you'll come back a as a plant insect anymore or whatever. 
I'm not too sure um, if that is the case, but I am pretty, I, I'm pretty, I do believe that we can back uh, something. I don't know what it's judged on. Probably that is the most reasonable answer, which is not always the best thing to say. But I'm pretty sure we do come back at some point. Um, Adam, the soul is not a physical form. You obviously don't believe in it, but people don't do. It's not a physical form, which means he does not require a physical body. So when you die, he does not die. Okay? But then you quite got that. And, for God's sake, Daniel, um, when I said that animals can't think and make choices, I obviously said in comparison to humans, I obviously know that they can. It takes me way too literally sometimes. Um, but in comparison to humans, they can't think as much um, as deep and they can't make as many choices because they can't think as deep. And I'm not even going to bother <laughs> explaining that. Um, maybe you should use your intellectual growth, like you said you had uh, gone through, to explain it to yourself. It should really, really be an easy explanation. Um, I don't know what, what kind of people have koalas. I just mentioned that example because it came into my head. I think I must have seen it or like, read about it somewhere. I don't really know why I said that. I do say a lot of things that don't make sense. I am going to admit that right now. But still, I don't regret them. So there. Uh, oh, Owen, I I got your book. The Don't Never Hit a Jellyfish with a Spade. It is really funny. It's got a really funny writing style and really, really, like random but really good um, examples to compare things. I'm really enjoying it and it's so easy to read because it's only about a page per chapter or whatever so it's like really convenient. So thanks for the recommendation. Um, where, where was your video this week? Um, yeah, I think that is it. Oh, uh, just to emphasise my point, I do think life is sacred. Don't think that I I rather not leave if there was nothing else in the afterlife, and that's everything I'm doing in my life now is because I definitely know that there's an afterlife because that's not true at any point. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm kind of tired, so I'll try and make a bigger effort next weekend, and yeah, I'll give this a little bit more thought because I don't have much to say right now.